Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful classic seed beads bracelet. It's easy to make and when I show you how to make this element you could use it in different projects, you could make earrings and I also have a tutorial for similar earrings that I'll link here at the eye icon. And if you want to support me and see more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations and some of them. I put on my community tab here on YouTube so the others could also see it and be inspired. Okay, down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to Amazon where you could buy supplies from, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are three colors of 11 seed beads. You could use steno seed beads, it doesn't matter. And here I use lobster's cloak clasp and the jump ring. You could use any type of clasp you like. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeter. This is size 10 beading needle scissors. And these are pliers, they are not obligatory, but you could use them to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and in my first step, I'm going to take six red beads and six black beads and I'm going to alternate them. Okay, and I have uh, 12 beads in total, six red and six black. Okay, and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made and pull. And then just to be sure that everything will be really secure, I will make one more knot. I make sure that I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. And now guys, I have this beautiful circle of beads. Okay, and what I'm going to do in my next step is go in this direction and exit out of one of my red beads. And here, what I want to take are three red beads, three of them. And I'm going back in circle through this red one, like this. In this way, I'm making a cross of four beads. This is called right angle weave. And in my next step, I want to exit out of the next red. I'm going through the black and through the red in this direction around my circle. And I'm going to take three more red beads. And I'm going back in circle through this thread and in one movement you could go in this direction and exit through the black and through the following red. And in this way you will save time. Okay, and you could do this the old way by going only around this red one and then through the next two beads or you could do this in this faster way, whatever you prefer. And I'm going to repeat this three more times. Okay guys, and now I have this. And what I want to do is go back through these two red beads in this direction. And I will make a full circle here, reinforcing this part. Okay. 
Then in my next step, I will go through the following black and red. And I will exit here. Through one of my red beads that are sticking out the most. And now guys, what I want to take are two golden beads, one black bead and two golden beads. Okay, this is what I have here on my needle. And I will go here through this red one that's sticking out the most in my neighbor cross of four beads. And by the way, in this step, you could flip your work like this. Uh, it's easier for me to work in this direction. That is why I'm going to flip it. Here, I will cut my tail thread. Okay. Then what I want to do is take two golden beads, one black bead, and two more goldens. This is what I have. And I'm going in the following red bead. Two goldens, one black, two goldens. Okay. Go in f the following red bead that's sticking out the most. Okay guys, and I'm going to repeat this three more times off camera and I'll be back. Just pause this video, do this three more times like we did here and meet you in a while. Okay guys, and now I'm just adding the last five beads from this row. And now what I'm going to do is go through these two golden beads and exit out of the next black one. And here in this row I need three blacks, one red and three black beads. Okay, this is what I have. Three three blacks, one red, three blacks, and go in the following black one. Okay. And I'm going to repeat this. Three blacks, one red, and three black beads. And I'm going in the following black. I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself. Okay, the same thing. And go here at the black that's sticking out the most. Okay. Do this three more times and I will meet you here in a while. Okay guys, and these are the last seven beads and I'm going here through the black one again. Okay, now I have this. And what I'm going to do is go through these three black beads and exit out of my next red. And here I want to do right angle weave again. And I'm going to take three red beads like this go back here in circle through this red one. Okay, I have this beautiful red angle weave here. And now I'm going through the following two black beads. And I'm going to take three beads, red, golden, and red. This is what I have on my needle. And I will skip one, two, three beads and go through the last two be black beads before my red one okay you see here i'm going through two here through two and skip three okay and i'm going through the following red one and i'm taking three red beads like this going back through this red one in circle then again go through two black beads Take red, 
golden and red okay this is what I have here then skip I'm exiting here after this black bead and I'm going to skip one two three beads and go through the last two black ones and if you can in one movement go also through the red one okay here guys take again three beads go back through this red one and if you can also through the following two black beads in one movement then take red golden and red skip the middle three beads and go through the last two black beads and through the following red okay now guys off camera i will repeat the other part of my work if you forgot how i did it just rewind the video and see how i'm doing it here and repeat it see you in a while okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last three beads from this row okay and pull and now i have one more row before my element is ready okay and going through these two black beads and through the red one in this direction and my goal is to exit out of the golden bead and here i'm going to take three golden beads go back in circle through this golden okay and I went also through the following bit, but it doesn't matter because my next goal is the following golden. And in order to reach it, I'm going through all of those bits here. Okay. Exiting out of this golden. Three goldens go back through the following golden three beads Pull. okay and I'm going to repeat this from this side and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and I'm taking three golden beads going back in circle through this golden then through these two here in this direction okay like this okay i could go one more time just to be sure everything is nice tight and secure and here guys i will attach my clasp okay i'm taking my clasp like this and i need two black beads go through my clasp slide it down take two more black beads slide those down as well now this is what i have two black beads my clasp and two black beads and now i'm going back in circle through this golden one and attach my clasp here Okay guys, and in the same way you could put here uh, ear wire and make this an earring if you want. But now I will show you how I'm making a bracelet. I will reinforce this part here.
Okay guys, and now I'm here where I could make a knot and cut my thread. And in order to do this, first I will make here a loop like this. And I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made like this and I'm going to pull here and then I will go through the following seed bead and I will cut my thread and the first element of my bracelet, the beginning of my bracelet is ready. Okay, and I will make one more element without cutting my, making a knot and cutting my thread. And I'll be back to tell you how to connect it to this one. Okay, guys, and I just did another element and I'm exiting out of this golden bead. And I still haven't cut my thread. Okay, and in order to connect it to this one, I need one black bead. And as I'm exiting from this golden in this direction, I will go in this golden. Okay. Now my two goldens are connected by one bead. And I'm going to take one more black bead. And I will go back in circle through the first golden that I was initially exiting out of. Now you see what I have, a loop of beads with two beads in the center. And when I pull, I have another right angle weave in the center between those two right angle weaves, which means four beads in a cross, if you haven't heard it. Okay, and I'm making here a reinforcement like this and now I will go through some beads in this direction like this, pull tight and I'm between those two beads where I make a loop and I go once, I go second time through this loop I've made and I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my loop from and I pull and then I go through the following seed bead and I cut my thread. Now my second element is attached here and I'm going to continue adding more and more elements and I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet. Okay guys, and when I continue adding more and more elements, this is what I have. And I just connected those two last elements. And what I'm going to do is attach my jump ring at the end of my bracelet. And in order to do this, I will go in this direction through all of my beads. Okay. I will go around through all of those beads And here you could use your pliers if needed. Okay guys, and I went here at the end of my element 
and here I want to attach my jump ring and I will attach it by taking five black beads okay I have my five here and I'm going to take my jump ring and I will go back in circle here okay and now you know what follows reinforcing making a knot and then my bracelet will be ready Okay guys, and now my bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos with fresh bidding ideas. And you could always like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find full list of materials Link to Amazon where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.